चैनल आज लेके जा रहा हूँ अट्रिया को सर्विस कराने को वी हैड बॉट इट ऑन सेकेंड अक्टूबर एंड आज है दिसंबर फोटीन फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन है आज दिसंबर फिफ्टीन सर्विस टू मंथ्स पे ड्यू था तो आई कॉल्ड हम अब थ्री फोर मंथ्स थ्री फोर डेज अगो तो उन्होंने बोला कि आज के दिन लेके आओ थर्सडे को दो घंटा लगेगा सर्विस को क्योंकि मेजर कुछ प्रॉब्लम है नहीं गाड़ी में मतलब प्रॉब्लम्स काइंड ऑफ एक तो ये है कि हॉर्न यू नो एकदम मरा हुआ बजता है तो वी नीड दिस टू बी फिक्स्ड एंड कुछ दिन पहले मैं इसको ऑटोलॉग पे लेके गया था ऑटोलॉग मेरे घर से इस लाइक ट्वेंटी टू किलोमीटर्स एंड बहुत जगह पे रफ पैचेस वगैरह भी थे तो वहाँ पे आइडेंटिफाई वापस आने के बाद पता चला कि फोर्क थोड़ा सा लूज़ हो गया है तो फोर्क में ना अगर मैं पीछे जाऊँ एंड देन फिर आगे वापस आऊँ और ब्रेक मारूँ तो फोर्क में कटक करके आवा जाता है तो ये कुछ दो तीन चीज़ें दिखानी है बाकी तो सब नॉर्मल है उन लोग को जो चेक करना रहेगा वो चेक करवाएंगे एंड आपको बताएंगे स्कूटर ब्रिजेस वगैरह भी आसानी से चढ़ जाता है बट इट ऑफ कोर्स टेक्स इट्स ओन टाइम अभी जिसको पता ही है जिन लोगों को पुणे में ये पोर्ट रोड का ब्रिज है सो so, चढ़ गई ऊपर सिंगल सीट पर डबल सीट पे और काफ़ी मर जाती है डबल सीट पे ओवरऑल रेंज हमको मिलता है अप्रॉक्सीमेटली 50 55 का एंड सिंगल सीट पे अगर मेरा बेटा सिर्फ यूज़ कर रहा है हु वेज़ अराउंड 50 के तो उसको मिल जाता है रेंज अराउंड 65 70 का चार्जिंग को साढ़े पाँच पाँच साढ़े पाँच घंटे आराम से लग जाते हैं ए गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो टूडे इज़ द फर्स्ट सर्विस ऑफ आ स्कूटर एट्रिया सो आई एम हियर एट हीरो इलेक्ट्रिक इट्स नियर इन बानेर नियर जुपिटर हॉस्पिटल सो आई रिकॉर्ड एवरी थिंग वॉट हैपन्स टूडे सो हियर्स द स्कूटर इट्स डन अराउंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स सो देर टेक इट फॉर सर्विसिंग नाउ आई शो यू एवरी थिंग सो वी बैक होम रिकॉर्ड द बाइक सर्विस and actually we didn't have we didn't get a chance to you know shoot everything because uh, the guys at hero said the uh, at the service and said they don't have you know permission to allow shoots and all so anyways we got the bike back home and i'll explain you in a while like what all things were done on the bike on the scooter and how much were the service charges and all so we did get the uh, crash guards installed and the costed somewhere around 2035 rupees or something and the quite good you know especially when because you know my son when he goes to the college and all uh, he has to put the scooter in a, a very tight parking sometime so we didn't want you know the bike getting scratched and all if you see like you know already some scratches are here so we didn't want the main body and all to get scratched and all i always prefer you know uh, these scooters of course these are not major crash cards in a major crash they're not going to protect the scooter and all it is up just about you know parking and uh, small tight parkings and similar situations where a uh, lot of scooters are parked near to each other so they don't rub each against each other and they don't scratch each other's body so that's the only reason why we got these done and the quality is really nice it is made out of ss so probably we won't have any rusting issues uh, front it is mounted on these two points another one is here and another one is here so that's how the front is mounted rear is mounted using one chassis point over here another over here and it's a wrap around stuff and goes right up to here on the second side second advantage what we got because of the crash card now is that it it now gets a footrest you know earlier this bike is ideally not made for two people because if two people start riding it uh, rider and pillion the uh, range drops drastically i mean i tried with my son me and my son riding around like uh, from range of 70 75 what he usually gets when he is riding alone we started getting 50 55 okay uh, the bike does go to the scooter does go up to 77 and all um, i mean uh, the speed does go up to 27 and all even in double seat but it takes time so this footrest is the biggest advantage that we got otherwise we have to ride you know go right up to the uh, rider's leg the riders riding over here is keeping the footrest there but when in when in uh, traffic jams and all he has to keep the foot down this used to come in between so now this is going to be an advantage that the footrest is back over here so that is one good thing 
and of course it is made out of SS. It looks good. It doesn't look odd on the bike. If you see if on the scooter, it doesn't look, you know, out of the way or nothing bad as such. So that is one good thing. Coming back to the service, uh, we did not have any major issue except for some folk noise that had off late started, and the horn had gone absolutely dumb. Uh, you know, it is to work like key can and all this stuff. You know. Uh, just after we bought like in 15 days or something the horn had gone crazy but now they fixed it probably they put a new one and it's perfectly fine and total kilometers on this bike on the scooter we have done is 991 so far uh, we took it for service at 900 kilometers and after that we did around 90 kilometers traveling local in two days so the uh, first service has to be done within 60 days from date of purchase, we picked it up on 2nd October, but we went to service for around uh, 19 December or something, due to which my first service had lapped, lapsed. In the sense, they did do the first service, but uh, they had to charge me for it for around, I think, 500 and something were charged for it. It was not free. And the bike is still in warranty, by the way. I asked them if the bike goes off warranty because I missed it by, you know, like 10 days or something. They said, no, it won't be missed. Just that we won't be able to do it free. It will be charged. And I have the bill with me. So this is the bill. Uh, steel guard set, set of two, 2048. And servicing, which is 508. And with tax, it goes to around 600. So I spent around 2648 for this scooter service. And the service station guys, uh, otherwise were very cooperative. And in fact, we had some more noise up ahead while riding. It was coming some, you know, some um, panels touching the socket or something wiring socket or something which also they have fixed and the scooter now rides completely silent i mean you don't get any noise while going on bad roads or something like they given a complete you know uh, schedule over here which we had to follow so it was first service was 60 days okay uh, which we missed and we had to we got delayed because we were not in town and all and all these things were checked you know both brakes control of cables operation of all locks operation of switches operation of horn lights wiring check of in, uh, insulation and all control cable free play functions and all uh, road test for front and rear braking throttle functions movement of handlebar motor operation movement of wheel and free alignment fork play front and rear suspension functions and mcb connections battery terminal connections battery rotation for uh, it was not for this bike because it has got only one battery the entire pressure and all was checked tire where uh, uh, and rotation was checked and all it's all inspection basically uh, nothing was worked on except for you know uh, the horn and all uh, front and rear wheel bearing were inspected and electrical couplers joints and all were inspected so and a bike was also washed uh, because all this while since we purchased we never had washed it since it's being an electric bike we never had washed it so they, they, they worked on it perfectly fine and washed it and all and gave it back to us so that's it for this video i hope you like the content if yes like share subscribe i am sorry i wanted to show the details like how uh, it gets serviced and how it gets checked and all but uh, they, we had permission issues so could not shoot inside maybe some other day uh, otherwise you can check my iCube service video it's almost uh, similar thing what they did for iQ uh, and what they did for Atria. the two different teams of course TVS and Hero but the checks that were done were almost similar with that said signing off uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you in a new video very soon